Welcome to Northern Lights over Arca. I'm JP and this time we're continuing Calvin Wright's run through the Circle on Dawn campaign. Last time we managed to stop the Witch's Ritual and we got 7 XP out of the Witching Hour of the Nario. Let's look a bit what we upgraded into the deck. So I removed Stray Cat, one Cherished Keepsake and two Take Hearts to make room for two times Yattle ally and two times Five of Pentacles Tarot card. I also added Charisma into the deck so that I can have Yattle that can uh, use the Desperate Skill cards multiple times from the discard and also Peter out as a soak. And the travel cards are there to give Calvin more room to take damage and horror so that he can boost his skills up even more. Other than that, the deck is basically the same. I also updated the basic weakness to be the mob enforcer in this list. It was missing from my previous list, but now it's there. And we luckily didn't run into the mob enforcer in the Arkham Woods last time. Hopefully our luck keeps up in this game. But that's enough of the deck. Let's look a bit about the scenario. So the story is that after the events in the woods, we received an invitation to the Silver Twilight's next charity gala in uh, Joseph Meiger's estate, uh, the same place where the prologue happened. So uh, we are looking into these disappearances that have been reported to the police and trying to find out exactly what happened, happened at the previous gala. So uh, because we had three evidence left behind, and we only had Penny White in the prologue. We added six clues to the balcony and removed three because of the three evidence. So it is suggested that we go check out the balcony first. So I think I'll I'll do that. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens in this scenario. So let's get started. If you like my content. Hit the subscribe button, so you don't miss anything. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. So we get the Yattel, which I will keep. And at the moment we really don't need the desperate cards, because we still need to take a bunch of damage. I I think I'll keep the Trial by Fire and a Word of Protection. Actually, I think I'll uh, only keep the Trial by Fire and Yato. I will replace those, hoping to get the Five of Pentacles, no luck. But at least we get the Meat Cleaver. And winging it, that will help us get some clues. And Reckless Assault. Okay. So let's shuffle these cards back into the deck and get started. Uh, we are again playing on standard difficulty. And uh, just as I said it, I noticed that I had the scena scenario card wrong side up. So let's switch that to standard. We have a resign option at the entry hall, but we won't use it at least right away. So that's enough. And uh, I think first action, because there won't be any enemies at the start, I just play Yattle as a first action. And Second action is to move into the Victorian Halls. It's a four shroud location with zero clues. 
action you go looking for trouble, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a silver twilight enemy is discarded, spawn that enemy into the victory halls, then gain two clues. Well, I'm not doing that. I'll just continue to the master bedroom. And it's a three shroud location with one clue forced when the round ends. If there is at least one investigator in the master bedroom, place one doom on the nearest silver twilight enemy. Well, there is none in play, so that doesn't matter this turn. So we go to upkeep, uh, we get a pyrax and we gain one resource. So that is good. Okay, well, that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add one Doom to the agenda, so we have one of eight Doom in play. Encounter card is Obscuring Fog. I think we won't be investigating here. So, I think first action, we'll just move into the balcony. Balcony is a one shot location. There are no clues except for the ones that we placed during the setup there. If there's an action, discard cards from your hand with a total of at least three knowledge icons. Parley, the guest here, knows more about the Silver Twilight Lodge than they let on. Gain two clues from the token pool. Group limit once per game. So that was the first action to move in. Uh, second action, I will play Winging It. I will drop the Shroud here to zero. So I'm testing zero to zero. So only the auto fail will fail us. We get a zero, we get one clue. And last action, I'll play the Winging it from my discard. And we again drop the shroud to zero. We try to investigate. We get a elder thing, which is a minus two. If there is a spectral enemy at your location, take one damage. Well, there isn't, and we succeed because we're testing zero versus zero, so we get the three clues. And that is our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. We draw one card, we get another trial by fire, and we gain one resource. So I think next turn we start setting up our cards and try to find a bit more clues. So the rest of the scenario will be a bit easier, but let's see what happens in the next turn. We add a second tomb. Encounter card is Crypt Chill. Oh dear, I really don't want to fail this one, but uh, uh, there's actually Nothing I can do. I have no fast assets that I could play, so yeah. I think we are losing Yacht all this turn. There's uh, nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so we fail. We have to discard an asset I control, so we have to discard Yacht, unfortunately. And nothing I can do about that. Okay, well that was unfortunate, but it is what it is, and I think we'll head towards the billiard room, so we move, move, and move for our last action to the trophy room. Actually, let's check, uh, the, so it's a two-shroud location. Actually, you spend some time smudging with the other guests, 
either gain two resources or spend two resources to gain one clue. So we can do it once per round. So we could spend some resources to get clues here. But let's see. I will draw one card, gain one resource. So next turn at least we get Peter in play. Probably. And that is that turn, so let's just continue to the next round. And uh, we have a 3 Doom of 8. And encounter card. It's a Lodge Neophyte. I will spawn it at the Victorian Falls. Actually, I could spawn it at the. Uh, it's probably. Sure, do I want to try to parlay with it? I think not. So we just spawn it. Well, do we want to align our, ourselves with the lodge? Or just let them die? <laughs> I think I will spawn it at the Victorian Halls and we place one Doom on the Lodge Neophyte. And first action, I'll play down Peter. Second action, I'll gain one resource and third action, I'll play down Fire Axe. Um, that is my turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep. We draw one card and it's uh, say your prayers and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 Doom of 8. We get an encounter card and it is Whispers in the Dark. Its location gains haunted, take one horror. Actually, we could just <laughs> try to investigate empty locations now. So that we get some horror going. That's not a bad idea actually. When the round ends, discard the whispers in the dark. <laughs> okay. Well, first action. We'll move into the billiards room. Uh, test Agility 3 to compete with the other guests. If you succeed, gain one clue from the token pool to leave it once per round. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just investigate this empty location. So we have the Haunted. If we fail, we take a Horror, which is okay by me. We fail, we take one horror, and last action I'll do it again. Other investigators would not do this, but Calvin is a special case, so he likes to get a bit beat up. And we fail. So we get another horror. At least we have uh, some stats now. And that is our turn. Enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw one card, get a baseball bat, and we gain one resource. Okay, so this got, gets discarded at the end of the round. And that is our turn, so let's go to the next turn. And we are at 6 Doom of 8. The encounter card is... Keeper of Secrets, so mm, any empty location, I'll spawn him at the trophy room. And 
when the mythos phase ends, place one doom on the Keeper of Secrets. Just uh, acknowledge three. If you succeed, remove all doom from the Keeper of Secrets. Okay. So the mythos space ends. Now we have seven of eight doom, so we are at the witching hour. We would be advancing next turn. So this turn I think I'll just prepare for the agenda to pop and not care about these guys that much. Yeah, I'm just counting if I I could parlay. Unfortunately, I had uh, I don't have the required knowledge to parlay efficiently with the keeper of secrets. I could gain a resource uh, trial by fire to get agility to get a clue out of this location, but I think I'll just move into the trophy room and pay for one clue. So first action, I'll move. Second action, I'll pay two resources. I get one clue from the token bank. And last action, I'll just gain one resource. Yeah, that's all we can do. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep. Draw one card. Nice, we get uh, Yattle. We gain one resource. And that is our turn. We have seven cards in hand, so... A lot of options there, and that is the turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we advance the agenda. We have eight doom of eight. You have uncovered some of the evidence training to the disappearances, but the truth has yet to be unveiled. So we possess three clues per investigator. I'll spend the three clues. This pawn to set aside Joseph Miger at the location farthest from us, and it's the balcony. And we'll mark him that. And we open the campaign guide to proceed to interlude one. A record of those lost. Then we remove each clue from each location and advance to Act 1B. So I'll just quickly see what the interlude says. And there are no clues on the balcony we can read uh, the flavor text, but uh, bottom line is the under missing persons. Next to Penny White's profile, we record that the investigators are on Penny's trail. Okay, then we advance to Act 1B. So, no enemies in the entry hall. For each location in play, find the set aside specs or worse. You look at the location and spawn them. All tokens and cards are for my locations are now considered to be at the new location. If there is an investigator at that location, reveal it. In player order, each investigator spawns one of the set aside monster enemies at his or her location until each of the set aside enemies has been spawned. Luckily, we don't have any. Spawn the set aside spectral watcher enemy in the entry hall. Shuffle the remainder of the set aside. The Watcher Encounter set and the Set Aside Realm of Death Encounter set into the Encounter deck along with the Encounter Discard file. Okay, so I'll do the setup and then we can continue, so I'll be right back. And we're back, so I've changed the uh, locations into the Spectral versions because we are at the trophy room, we flip it over. It's a two shroud location with one clue. Haunted lose two resources for each resource you cannot lose. From this effect, take one horror. So, this would be a good place to uh, get some more sanity loss so we can investigate more efficiently. And we spawned the spectral watcher at the entry hall. We shuffled the set aside encounter sets in and the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck and all of the uh, enemies and 
cards are transferred to the spectral locations and actually this would have been removed and that's it uh, we have a forced ability so each silver twilight enemy gains victory zero and counts as an investigator for the purpose of determining where hunter enemies move during the enemy phase forced after an hunter enemy move step of the encounter phase each ready spectral enemy deals its damage value to the each humanoid enemy at its location so the spectral watcher will start killing off lodge members and i think we can't do much about that at the moment and uh, we are at act two so we need to find a way to escape this uh, spectral realm so to speak and we need four clues so we have one clue and we need three more clues to get away so the encounter card is terror in the night test willpower four if you fail put terror in the night into play so um, let's see i can't use desperate skills just yet, I could commit Meat Cleaver to the test. I have a Fire Axe. So I think I'll do that. Just try to uh, not fail by three or more. So I'm uh, three versus four to the test. So I need a plus one to succeed. It's a minus three, unfortunately. So it searches. We put it there and it searches into trapped spirits. Test agility 3 for each point you fail by take 1 damage. Well, this is actually good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not committing anything so the rest of the text doesn't uh, matter. So we're testing agility 1 versus 3. Uh, we get a plus 1, so we fail by 1. We take 1 damage. And that is that. Okay. Uh, first action. I will gain a resource. Second action, I'll play Yatol. And third action, I will investigate. I'm investigating 2 versus 2. I think I'll commit one of the trial by fires so we are testing three versus two. Oh yeah at the end of the mythos phase we add one doom to the keeper of secrets we get a uh, yeah we fail the test we trigger the haunted ability so we take one horror that's okay we have no resources to lose and there's no spectral enemies so we don't take any damage so that was our turn enemy phase uh, the spectral watcher moves here it deals one damage to the lodge neophyte it goes into the victory display and I think that's it, so we go to upkeep, we draw one card, we get another fire axe, and we gain one resource. And that is our turn. So let's continue to the next turn. We add one doom here, we get an encounter card. It's a crypt chill. Uh, I'm testing. Actually, now I can use desperate cars but I could just play another fire axe if I lose that one so it's okay mm. uh, I think I'll still use the say your prayers to this one so we save that one resource I'm testing uh, seven versus four it's a zero, we pass.
and I think I, <laughs> as the first action I'll play the second fire axe. This is just because if we lose the first one, we still have a weapon. And we try to investigate. Three versus two. It's a skull, and I'm in a haunted location. I fail. I take one horror. And last action, I'll try to investigate. Four versus two. Zero. We get the, uh, the clue. And that is our turn. So we go to enemy phase. Spectral Watcher uh, moves here. It deals its damage to all humanoid enemies. So one damage to... Keeper of Secrets, I think I'll just let this guy die. And that and also we take uh, let's take the damage onto myself and horror onto Peter. And that is our turn. Actually I'll take it the uh, horror on myself, so I have a 5 intellect, uh, knowledge, I mean, and we go to upkeep, we get another say of prayers and one resource. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another doom, and encounter card. Is Mysteries of the Lodge. Place one Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Then, until the end of the round, increase the difficulty to fight, evade, or parlay with that enemy by two. If no Doom is placed by this effect, Mysteries of the Lodge gains search. So we place one Doom onto the Keeper of Secrets. Not a problem. This turn. Uh, we have an agility of three. Yeah, I think I'll try to evade the spectral watcher. I'm testing three versus three, and it has alert, but we'll just take the horror on Peter and the damage on ourselves and try again. If we fail, it's a minus one, so we fail. We take one damage and. Horror. We'll try again. It's a minus two. Again. Now we take the horror on Yotl. And let's try one more time. So we are testing five versus three. It's a minus two. If there's a spectral enemy at your location, take one damage. That's fine. And the Spectral Watcher is still evaded. Well, that is our turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep this Spectral Watcher ready and engages us again. We draw one card and we gain one resource. That is our turn. So let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, and Encounter card is Lodge Neophyte. We'll just spawn the Neophyte over here. And then let's uh, evade the Watcher. Oh yeah, we add one Doom here. Uh, minus one, we succeed. Uh, second action, let's move to the Billiards Room. It's a three shroud location with one clue. We will investigate for our last action. So we're investigating 
Oh yeah, Peter would have healed the horror last turn, at the end of our last turn. Uh, you must either discard an asset or control or take on damage. Okay. So we're testing a 5 versus 3. Zero, we get the clue. And that is our turn. So enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, this guy readies. And we get one card, we get the run for your life, that's really good. And we gain one resource. Nice. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Okay, so uh, let's add one doom here. And the encounter card is... Shadowhound. Well... That's unfortunate. Where should I put this guy? Put it here. And oh yeah, this guy would be here. Okay. So uh, this turn, I think I'll. Play Trial by Fire. I'll boost Agility. So I'm Agility 10. Uh, actually, Agility 11. Uh, first action, I'll evade. Minus 1. This Shadowhound is evaded. Second action. Oh yeah, uh, this guy gets another doom. Second action will move. Uh, third action. I will parlay because. Uh, the last action actually is, would be parlay. Uh, this is because... Actually no, I'll just try to hit the Spectral Watcher. Because the Watcher will kill the Keeper of Secrets. Yeah. So we don't need to remove the Doom. Okay. We hit. We do 2 damage onto the Spectral Watcher. And that is our turn. Enemy phase, uh, Spectral Watcher kills off this uh, Keeper of Secrets. We get rid of a bunch of Doom. And then we get one damage and one horror. I'll put the horror on Peter and the damage on Yato. And that is the enemy phase. We Go to upkeep, we get one card and one resource. That is that turn. Uh, this guy readies and let's go to the next round. Uh, we add another doom. We are at 6 of 11 doom. Encounter card is uh, trapped spirits. We test agility 6 versus 3. It's a minus two. Uh, if the spectre, oh yeah, Peter would have not healed yeah. So we, I would take one damage. Uh, that's not fun. Well, this we pass, but we have to resolve the. So. Fortunately, I think Yatol will die. Nothing we can do about that. And then we go to investigation phase. I will 
use one resource to hit the watcher. I'm six versus uh, six versus three. I'll uh, use the baseball bat to go seven versus three. It's a zero. Two damage onto the watcher. Uh, second action will hit again. This time I'll use the reckless assault. It's a skull, it's a minus three, but we still succeed. And the watcher is defeated. We heal all damage from it, and it does not ready during the next ready phase. Okay, last action, I'll move to the victory calls. Haunted lose one action, no clues here. And it's looking a bit grim, so I think we'll just try to find the fourth clue and get the hell out of here. Uh, enemy face, this uh, spectral hound hunts here. And we remove one of these counters, so the Watcher is still exhausted. Upkeep. We draw another Peter. Oh yeah, and Peter would healed. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. We are at 6, 7 of... Uh, 7 of 11 Doom, I mean. Uh, encounter card is obscuring fog, so it doesn't matter at all to us at the moment. Oh yeah, uh, we can't move to the entry hall right now. Uh, yeah, first action. I think I'll go to the office. It's a four-shot location, uh, two clues. I think we'll just try to investigate. I'm five versus four. It's a minus two, do you fail? Uh, discard card from your hand. I think I'll discard the uh, meat cleaver. And let's try one more time. It's a uh, zero. Uh, we get the clue and we can advance. So we can reveal the entry hall. And we shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. So now we can resign. I think I'll try to get this one clue and just get out. Oh yeah, and uh, this guy didn't go to the discard, but to the victory display. I really hope I get some more soap out. Rocking with one health and one sanity is not, not the ideal. We have Peter and another Peter at hand, but still this is not really not really ideal. Okay. And uh, enemy pace. Uh, the Shadowhound hunts here, and this guy is defeated. And upkeep. Oh yeah, this, this is revealed now. This Spectral Watcher ready is finally. And we get one card. And it's a mob enforcer. Oh my god, the worst, worst timing. 
and we gain one resource. Well, I think we'll need to. I think we'll evade, move, and uh, move. Well, let's see what happens next round. This isn't looking really good. Or we could just. Uh, oh yeah, we could just. Yeah, well, let's think about that next turn. But that was that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we have uh, seven out of eleven doom, so not many turns left. Yeah, we need to rehine somehow. Encounter card is uh, shapes in the mist. Search he resolve its haunted ability at the location, so we need to discard a card. Uh, I think I'll have to discard Sea of Prayers, those others are more useful. A Realm of Torment, uh, when your turn begins with all this. Ah. When your turn ends, yeah. Okay, what should we discard next? Yeah, I think I'll discard this Reckless Assault. How will we do this? If we evade, we have two actions left. Then we move, evade, and the Spectral Watcher comes in and hits us and uh, kills Peter. Next turn, we evade, evade, move. I think that's the only option. So, first action will uh, evade. 6 versus 3 for the mob enforcer. Uh, it's evaded. Let's put it here. Second action will move. And last action will evade. Uh, 6 versus 1. Oh dear. That's game. I'll take one damage, so Peter dies. We lost our soak. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, this is evaded, but Peter dies. And that's our turn. Enemy phase. Uh, Spectral Watcher moves here and hits us. So we. I'll take the. I'll die from. Damn it. I, I die from horror because we usually need more. More ways to uh, investigate at the start of our scenario. Well, unfortunately. <laughs> We get defeated. Okay, so if no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated, and it is Act 3 when the scenario ended, go to resolution 1. Okay, so uh, because we managed to get to Act 3, we go to resolution 1 and we record that the investigators escaped the spectral realm, so we don't die. <laughs> Uh, each investigator earns the experience equal to the victory x value of each card in the victory display. And there's one. So <laughs> we get one experience, so not that good of a result, because uh, actually I should have tried to get that. But well, you couldn't know. We get a um, mental trauma. And then... We'll go to the interlude, we go to the price of progress 2, fluff text, we talk to this guy Sanford, he basically explains what, what they are doing here, they're trying to figure out what happened to the last gala and 
repeat the process and they managed to do that and get the spectral watcher here again. So we go to Price of Progress 3, we go to Price of Progress 4, so we record that Joseph disappeared into the mist and the investigators are enemies of the Lodge and we continue to the secret name. And that is that. Okay, well, that was a bad sequence of things at the end, but at least we don't have to start the next scenario with a new investigator, so that's a plus. The next one will be really hard, but usually I'll just get a trauma there and try to get a couple of victory points and that's that. So I will uh, update the deck a bit with 1.1 XP for next time, so let's see how the next one then goes. So thanks for watching and until next time.